I don't want to talk about this too much, uh, but you know, James is often fantasizing about living somewhere else, living somewhere more progressive because we kind of live in the middle here of fossil fuel country and both sides of the political spectrum support fossil fuels and continuing fossil fuels. And one of the safe havens in our minds has always been British Columbia, the west coast of Canada, where Vancouver is, Vancouver Island, Victoria. It's always seemed like a much more progressive place and, and a place that I'm, you know, be interested in moving. But the, the premier of BC now is talking about getting rid of the consumer carbon tax. Well, he's under pressure from the conservatives for once, and they yeah. might lose that, and it would become a yeah. very significant shift. Like, the, the conservatives are actually fairly right-wing in a yeah. fairly left-wing uh, mountainous community, you know, think Seattle or something like that. But yeah, it's sort of, there's a, there's a bunch of fall elections here in Canada and, you know, uh, Trudeau's carbon pricing, and it's not a tax, it's a price on pollution, but his carbon tax, I don't know, every, the, the other parties can smell blood in the water. Like this is maybe the, the thing. Well, yes, yeah, the defeat. cost of living, the, the uh, interest rates have gone up and this is the time that they can finally attack the carbon tax when people are, yeah. you know, having trouble buying groceries and things like that. But it, it, the stupid thing is, is that we, most jurisdictions get, you know, the money back and more, most people get more yeah. money. So they're actually going to be worse off if you get rid of the carbon yeah. pricing on a consumer yeah. level. I mean, it affects industry as well. And then they say, yeah. well, it, it increases the price of groceries. It's like one penny or two pennies per hundred dollars. It's, it's, it's yeah. almost, you know, nothing like, yeah. you know, a breeze it's, would, 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 a gentle breeze would raise the price that much. It's political posturing. It doesn't have anything to do with reality. And it reminded me of back in uh, 1991 is when the GST came in here in Canada. This is the goods and services tax. And this was the most unpopular thing I can ever remember per politically in my lifetime. It was a 7% sales tax federally on basically everything, goods and services. And it was brought in by Brian Mulroney, the conservative prime minister at the time in 1991. And this, the, I mean, nobody wants to pay 7% more for everything. So this was roundly hated. And then two years later, he lost the election or the conservatives lost the election in the greatest defeat ever in the history of Canadian or possibly world politics. But they we've been through several election up. cycles federally since it was brought in. And I was kind of surprised by it because there was a, because, you know, the opposition parties would call it a tax and that sort of, you know, even journalists call it a carbon tax. And we've been accused of, yeah. of joining that parade because we're so used to hearing that, that sort of term. But, uh, it's really frustrating that, you know, that's happened and it's, it's made it through several elections and now it's like time to kill it, which is, and it's proven yeah. to work and other countries yeah. in the world are looking to do it. And, uh, BC's had it for longer than the federal government has. And they've, we, most of the data in the world comes from BC to prove that it works. So it, yeah. it's not perfect. It's not an end all solution. It's part of a puzzle of, of addressing climate change, but it's a free market, uh, in, in a sense, right wing way of addressing the problem because you, the market has to adjust and it, and it does. It's stupid. It's, it's, it's incredibly, um, wrong to, to attack something that's working. And, and in fact, doesn't, you know, it does not in fact yeah. hurt your pocketbook. And the difference, of course, like the GST was hated by pretty much everyone, but people do support a price on carbon. So it's not universally loathed, but as I say, the other parties can seem to smell blood in the water.